When you go watch a NASCAR race, what are you really hoping for? You want to see someone wreck, right? But no one get hurt. Today, when we fly this new, for me, brand new Dynam Spitfire, the likelihood of a crash is extremely high because <laughs> there were a couple funny things about putting it together and stuff. And I programmed my own receiver to have safe on board. Now, when you get a bind and fly on a Spectrum, E-Fly airplane, they are ready to go right out of the box. This will be my first airplane that I've ever flown uh, with my own, again, self-programmed receiver. So this could end really quickly. We'll find out. Uh, I'm, I'm in love with the plane though. I've never owned a Spitfire before, so officially this is my first Spitfire Warbird. That's Didn't... not true. Air Corps Power Corps! Air Corps Power Corps! I forgot about those. <laughs> okay, well that doesn't You really, had a Spitfire, right? That was basically a paper airplane compared to this. So I'm gonna say this is my first official Spitfire, okay? It's my first official Spitfire Warbird. And it does have flaps. I love how the flaps are set up on here, where the way the hinge is, because you cannot see the hinge on the upper side of the wing, only on the lower side of the wing. And to the keen eye, you may have noticed, retracts. So this is a great six channel airplane. I'm really in love with the way it looks considering the price point and everything. And it, it's made, you know what, when you buy a dining plane, you have to go in knowing that something isn't gonna be perfect. I did struggle with my tail wheel and, and you guys may <laughs> notice that's an embarrass, a very embarrassing little fix, but I just plastered on a ton of hot glue. There were issues about that tail wheel. We'll see how this goes in the video and I'll talk about that more after we land. But I know everyone's dying to see it fly. I'm dying to try to fly it. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. Before we fly, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Leading Edge Supplements Severe Clear. This is an energy supplement designed for your mental focus and it was designed by a full scale pilot, which I think is really cool. Small scale business on the startup and they would appreciate your support. So if you'd like to support them, we have an exclusive RC Sailor promo code in the description box below that can save you 15% paired with our link. Let's fly. We should have a steerable tail wheel, but in this case I don't because I have mine just stuck in place. So hopefully I get in the air okay. And uh, I should mention this is the third version of this airplane. Uh, this is version three, so they've made some improvements. Let's see if uh, it's nose, airworthy. Your nose is wobbly. It is a little off center, <laughs> yeah. So it's probably gonna sound great. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Yep. Oh my gosh, there. It, it whipped the to the air. left. Wow. It in the air. We had a strong torque to the left. It whipped but, over. And that could have been the tail playing a, a role there. But I'm going to put those flaps up and not have a wingtip stall. Let's go. Retracts up. Three, two, one. Very nice. Very You're going nice. slow. Yeah, a little slow. I'm throttling up. I definitely need to trim that rudder out. That feels pretty rough. I do have safe on. So this is my first uh, self-programmed safe receiver ever. I need a lot of down too. So uh, part of that is like calibrating what is level for the airplane. And I think I need to get my pitch down. I had it at 15 because that was the, that's what it defaulted to on the ground. Um, I've got some aileron roll in there. I, even with safe on, you got to trim it up, and that's that's what Don't I'm stall. doing. There, that that feels a lot better. So let's let's fly it by, full throttle. We'll turn safe off on this flight and have a good time with it. Sounds good. This is a 3S airplane, just a nice little, pretty budget-ish warbird. My first. This is the biggest Spitfire I've ever had, and you know what? <laughs> it's doing pretty good. I can't complain. And I'm flying a plane that has safe in it, Spectrum safe receiver on my Spectrum radio. That's not supposed to. I could have put my old dumb tactic setup in here, but I chose to put this in. I just wanted to see how it would go. And here we go. Oh, 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 oh. no, no. I, was trying to get, I was trying to give you a nice, um, a pretty pass, I, I see. I didn't work. Oh my I goodness. Still, still on the trend, but overall, it's doing really good. I'm ready to turn safe off on, on after this next pass. I was pushing it down to get as low as I could. Here we go. Okay, safe off. Please don't crash. There we go. And I might need to trim it up some. It felt like it was nosing down pretty hard when I did that. Yeah, so. Different different trim settings here. Trimming it up some. 
and I think it's going to be probably a little more fun to fly without safe, to be honest, but I, I wanted to know that I could do this, and, and I think I can. So here we go. Safe is off, and actually AS3X is off as well. We're good, we're good. Roll it I and pull so up, nervous. baby. <laughs> oh, but it's nice to know that safe is there if we need it, right? Right. And I think I'm going to hit it just for a second because I'm a little disoriented. So that's the point of having safe. You get disoriented in the air, you're flying a new airplane, maidening it for the first time especially, you can throw that switch and it just takes over and auto levels the plane, which is really nice. That's what I did. I want to throw a safe off again now that I've got orientation back and just enjoy the flight. So this is a better airplane than I expected. The only issue I had was that tail wheel. So there's this little um, metal piece that sticks out from the tail of the airplane where the wheel goes and it wouldn't fit in there just because the hole wasn't drilled out properly. So I had to try to drill it out and it didn't want to very well. I didn't have the right bit for it and I, it, just, it just failed. I just made the hole a little too big, it was a little too loose and I had to glue that wheel in place so it's probably going to make for a very awful takeoff and landing anytime i want to fly this but other than that and i think that's probably a fluke I, it's probably not going to happen to every single uh, plane that they put out but you kind of have to expect to do a little bit of work you know five to ten percent of the dynam airplane is probably not going to be perfect when you get it that's that's what i expect when i buy a dynam airplane you buy an e-flight plane and you expect it to be 99.99 percent perfect right it's a bind and fly especially you want to take it out of the box slap it together in 15 minutes to half hour and it works when you buy a dynam airplane expect a couple hours of of uh, piecing it together but once you do you get something like this and it's flying great and I love this. I love this plane. Plus I've got a plethora of 3S batteries and it is really fun to fly on. That's not bad at all. Let's, uh, I have not done a loop yet so let's throw a loop at it. This is powerful enough to do a loop and I think this is the best way to go because we've got a little bit of a breeze this way so full throttle and let's go for it. Nice. Let's go for another one out here. Yeah, this is a good, good warbird. Is that five Real minutes? Nice. That's my five minute timer, which is probably a good time to land because it's just an 1800 milliamp battery. They recommend a uh, 2200, so, and I put an 18 in. I'm trimming it up nice, nicely before my landing. I'm gonna drop my landing gear on this pass. I went back into safe just to help me out because I'm gonna need it with that tail wheel. I wanna get a little closer. The landing gear drops kind of fast. So here we go, three, two, one. The wheels are down, looking good. And I believe I'm gonna land this way, coming to us, maybe, just because I, you know what, that one wheel looks like it's almost not down all the way. So I went back up and dropping it again. It just looked a little crooked. Okay, we're okay. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna go Sorry. half flaps and really just commit to the landing, I think. Uh, no, get a good one. Okay, then I need to come around again. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the wind is actually coming in to our backs. It's only about one to two mile an hour uh, breeze, but it's there. So let's let's bring it in this way. It's probably going to be a little better. This plane, it, having safe, you know, it wants to climb a little bit. So even in this position, I'm, I'm still nosing down sub with a little bit of throttle to get it down. But let's see if I can do it. I'll take it. I hit that snow. <laughs> that tailwheel that too. Snow, the snow is really what caused that. <laughs> that one patch of snow right there. <laughs> I clipped it and that, you know, I can't do much about that, but it was a pretty smooth looking landing yeah, until I hit good. that little patch of snow. So I'll take it. You guys can hear safe working. You know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I've, I have been a tactic fan and I still am for many, many, many years. And then just about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, I, I thought I really should learn some Spectrum stuff. There's a lot of good airplanes that fly on Spectrum that are bind and fly. And there's potential with Spectrum to have safe on airplanes that Horizon does not sell. So now... Which will help me. <laughs> I just oh, confused you. Oh, you were pointing you. at you. I thought you were pointing over there. <laughs> It'll help me get other planes in the air yeah. rather than just e-flight planes. You you would like flying this. It flies really good with safe on. So maybe, maybe you get on the channel and fly it. But listen to that. Safe's working on this Dynam Spitfire. And I'm really happy about that because you guys 
you know, you can go with whatever brand you want. I turned safe off and AS3X was off as well. And I flew about half or more of the flight with it completely turned off. So you guys can see how it flies without that uh, cushion there as well. But knowing that there are a lot of people that watch our videos that have a nice Spectrum radio, you can pick up a Spectrum safe compatible receiver. And there was a small learning curve to it. It took me a couple days of, you know, a couple hours each day, sitting down trying to learn it, watching some videos. But now that I've done it, I think I can do it again. So that's, that's really fun. I'm really happy about that. And what a cool Warbird, the Spitfire. And we cannot count the first one, I think, right? I'm <laughs> just saying. No, this is my first one. This is officially, and check it out. That's good landing gear. They say that the landing gear is more robust now from version two to version three. This used to have a three bladed prop, but now we have a four bladed prop and I think it felt really nice. Had just enough pull to do enough uh, combat maneuvers like rolls and loops. And I really like the flaps. They look really good on the back of the airplane. I think that's really nice how they're semi hidden there. It's a little bit more scale. And all these stickers, here's another proud moment too. <laughs> you put those stickers on. I put all the stickers on. I turned safe off. So Usually listen, that's my job. I want you guys to, I turned safe off, but the plane's still on. I did not have AS3X on with when safe was off so that it truly flew on like a dumb receiver, you know, without having any stabilization. So I think I like doing that. Uh, again, just, I wanna be super clear here. This is an awesome airplane, and if you like Spitfires, you should get this. And if you use our link in the description box below, it's like you're supporting an American hobby shop, okay? We make a small commission off of that, a very small commission, but it helps. So if you found our video useful, you decided to buy it because of our video, you had entertainment value because of our video, please at least consider using the link because it does help keep the lights on, fuel in the tank, everything to get out here. And I want you guys to know going into this, you have to set your expectations real. You know, I didn't, I don't, I don't watch other YouTubers most of the time. I do sometimes, a couple people, but most people I find that I just don't trust. <laughs> they just want to sell the thing. And so when I buy something like this or put it on the channel in any way, shape or form, I tend not to do a lot of research beforehand because I want my experience to be a true one. And, and so just, I want you to know going into it, you, your tail wheel might work out perfectly but you may have some other small issue that you have to work around and get a little bit creative uh, when, you're, when you buy something like this. That's just how Dynam is, and I think you need to set that expectation realistically. So know that going into it. And when you're unsure about something, you know that there's some level of uh, just, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It really feels good to fly with AMA. And, and I should have probably talked about that while I was flying a little bit, but I love having AMA, and I saw something recently on their Facebook page. Oh, uh, oh, AMA, if you're not sure, is the Academy of Model Aeronautics. They're basically insurance for those of us that fly. So if I would have smacked into an, a car up here or the building or something, they step in and help you out with that. It's, it's really nice to have. But I noticed that they have custom AMA numbers right now, and I just saw this, and I hope it's true, but I think they're 50% off. Yes. So if you want a custom AMA number. I think usually it's $50 and right now it's 25. Don't quote me, but I think that's what I saw. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll have more information for that linked in the description box, but I just saw that on Facebook. You know, I, I look at the iFly AMA and I try to be so, you know, I try to be social on there and stuff a little bit, but I'm really interested in the stuff they post because I feel like I'm learning stuff all the time. And so when I saw that they had the discount, I thought that was really cool. So if you're not an AMA member, you really should be. There's insurance, magazines, all kinds of benefits, but the custom AMA number, I didn't know they even did that, first of all, and now they're running a sale on it. So I think that's awesome. All that good stuff's linked down in the description box below. And uh, just a huge shout out and a thank you to the big guy upstairs for helping me have a nice successful flight. I tell you, I got a little frustrated while putting the plane together, especially the tail wheel. I really did, I got frustrated. And I got frustrated. He did. I did. <laughs> it made for a rough survivor watching evening. It was, was not much fun, but I got through it. And I had a little bit of a rough time learning uh, something new. Us old dogs, we don't like to learn new tricks, right? I call myself old, I know some of you guys will hate me for that. But getting this Spectrum receiver in here was just a nice, uh, accomplishment, a nice notch on the belt. I've learned something and I'm proud of it. So uh, for that, I thank the big guy upstairs. A massive thanks to our Patreon supporters too because you guys motivate us to keep the channel rocking and rolling, bringing new stuff to you like this all the time. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being a Patreon supporter. We absolutely love you guys. You are 
the best. We'll have another Warbird video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.